Hello, hello everyone. I warmly welcome you back to today's edition of our positive word. I hope you are well. Thank you for joining me. The topic for this session is mistakes. Or well, mistakes, uh, faults, the errors, the blunders, the slip-ups that we sometimes get trapped in, where we show a little bit more of our human nature. Every one of us make mistakes. We have made mistakes. We will keep making mistakes because these are part of the things that make us human. No one is perfect. We have a perfect God who knew that we would slip up. We would commit blunders. We would grieve his heart. So he made the provision for us to be able to come back, to ask for forgiveness and just wipe the slate clean and start again. Our mistakes do not define us. They do not, they only define us when we allow them. We should not allow them to limit us. It's our fears that limit us. Mistakes may, may set us back, may make us lose some time, resources, friendships or relationships, but we can get past them if we can forgive ourselves, get back up and try again. Your mistake does not make you a lesser human. It doesn't make you the worst person on earth. It just shows to you that you're not perfect, that we're not perfect. Mistakes are part of the reality of life. Whether you are educated or not, you're well-placed, you're wealthy or not, you're handsome or not, you're beautiful or not, your height, your status, your relationship, nothing sets us apart from making mistakes. We're humans, we will make errors. Every day you wake up, you get a second chance to keep working hard. Whatever mistakes from yesterday matters not. They may impact on today's reality, but we can turn the story around if we do not focus on the mistakes. You don't fall down and stay laid down there. You pick yourself up, get back up again and keep moving. We work hard. We go the other direction. We try something new or something else away from the mistake. We learn from the mistake. We just never quit. Your mistakes, our mistakes come together to make us the success Give us that success, which we will eventually celebrate. So my encouragement today is for us to not focus on the mistakes that we've made. Yes, that relationship, we could have avoided it. That remark we made, we could have not said it. We did. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. I'm going to read the easy to read translation. If you serve sin as a master, it will pay you with death. But if you belong to our Lord Jesus Christ, God gives you a gift. That gift is life with God forever. The King James Version, the, the, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Sin pays you with death. What is this about? God has made provision for us to come out of the mistakes. Whatever flaws, whatever failures, whatever blunders we committed at some point, we can come out of it. That's my encouragement today for us to get out of our own way. The only person stopping you is you. When you brandish your mistakes, you live in regret, constant regret of the past. You can't move forward, my friend. There'll be no progress. So I stopped by today to tell us that, yes, mistakes we made, mistakes we're making, mistakes we will make are part of the human life's reality. But we can live past them by turning our lives to God and allowing him to lead us. We do not have to live in mistakes completely, continuously. He can turn the slate, turn our lives around. We can wipe the slate clean to live better lives. 
Yes, learn from the mistakes and move on. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, goodbye for now. God bless you as you live past your mistakes.